Welcome to the table. My name's Max. And I'm Dooley. And today we're talking a special Kickstarter project called Orbidice by Blaster Light Studios. I've messed everything up already. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> Uh, Julian, would you like to try that again? Opening the box. Oh, yeah, I can try. I'd love to see you. Okay. These are Orbidice, the spherical. And it's spherical. <laughs> spherical. Dice, the new age of dice, if you will. <laughs> That's not for us to decide. That's for you <laughs> to decide with your money. Yeah, we get to decide on too. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. What are we <laughs> going to do? But ultimately, it's going to come down to you all deciding whether you want to back these or not because mm -hmm. they are coming to Kickstarter very, very soon. Yes. If not today. Like, re like of the vi publishing it, of this video. It might be out there now. Yeah, it might be. Go check. Go look for Orbit Ice. Mm -hmm. These are spherical dice used for any game that you want to use dice for, mm -hmm. such as tabletop RPGs or board games or just for fun because I will say one thing if these are one thing <laughs> they are fun <laughs> they are very fun I can't stop playing with it. and this isn't like like oh we're trying to sell these because we're making tons of money off of Orbitize no. we're not paid anything no nope. uh, we were contacted and sent these to test out to put them through the ringer and mm -hmm. trust us we have <laughs> We've rolled them many a times. <laughs> Thrown them We've on the floor. Thrown them on the tile floor. Yeah. They've probably been chewed up by a dog once or twice, but they, they show perfect. no <laughs> signs of it. They're doing incredibly well so far. Yeah. Obviously, we've only had a hold of these for a few weeks at this point in time, so we can't touch on the long longevity of how they mm -hmm. function and how well they're going to hold up. But for us, they've held up extremely well. Yeah, they're clearly made with some some pressy durable yeah. material but yeah. it like inside of it I, I love the science behind it there's a little metal ball mm -hmm. that shakes around and there's some grooves there are grooves on the opposite end of each of the numbers and when it when the ball lands in that groove after being shaken up when you roll it it stops and boom you have a 16 right uh you won't get a 16 every time uh, if you patent. did, that'd be a pretty dang good D and D dice. <laughs> yeah, you, you roll a whole bunch of times. I just rolled that. You rolled that twenty. Boom, perfect. <laughs> uh, but just wow, I'm pretty impressed you with are. myself yeah. right now. Anyway, uh, it you roll the dice, that ball stops, and then whatever the number is on the top because of that. Just groove, like a normal dice. Yeah. yeah, and and that's what impressed me with this the most was I was like, how in the world? Does yeah, I agree. I was fall? fully I was like, expecting it to show. You know, like how in the world am I supposed to tell? Middle numbers <laughs> multiple times. But it totally and, doesn't. Yeah, genuinely, it's the been fine. The only time, the only time I've seen this happen is the same time that it happens for a normal dice, which is when it hits a groove or when it hits like the side side now, of a dice tray yes. or something like that. Full disclosure: the Kickstarter is running right now. I believe you can get yourself a pair of these wonderful dice in this beautiful box uh, for, I believe, about sixty dollars mm. USD, which is not cheap. I know, yeah. absolutely, it's not cheap. Uh, this dice tray does not come with it, as far as I'm aware. It might yeah. be a uh, pledge level, or it might on. be a stretch goal, or an add-on, or something. I don't know what this is going to cost. Uh, it works quite nicely. There have been a time or two where I've had something come up and it not work properly. I got a 19 there. We are rolling excellent <laughs> so far in this video. Uh, but, uh, oh, see, <laughs> there you go. There's an instance of where this doesn't work yes, perfectly. But that doesn't really bother me that much because I don't think that I'll ever use this anyway. Right. It's it's just a really nice centerpiece. That's thing one thing me. I was going to say. The marketing behind this, because the dice tray is the logo, mm -hmm. is great. It's mm -hmm. a great marketing. It's a great centerpiece. I wouldn't use it either, personally. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoy the feel of this... A lot more than I enjoy, but I also then, rolled a four that time, <laughs> than I enjoy the feel of that. Yeah. It's it's very cool. It's a cool thing to showcase, mm -hmm. but you're not missing out if you don't go for this add-on or whatever this is. Uh, but they do work, and they stop fairly quickly. For being yeah. a sphere, for being a circular dice, you almost anticipate them to roll off the table. Mm -hmm. And once they really catch that groove, that metal ball does a trick, and it weighs it down, and it stops. I'm so horrible at keeping dice on the table, mm -hmm. but weirdly enough, a ball does not... Like, it, it actually improves that. Like, you drop it, and the, because it's weighted like right. that, it doesn't fall off the table as much. When I rolled it on the floor, it 
when it's tile, like we, we, we drop things at table nuts all the time and it shoots off somewhere and then the cat chases yeah, it. Yeah, well think of the science behind dropping a football mm. compared to dropping a basketball. Yeah. I mean, you drop a basketball, it's going to go, you know, basically right where it yeah, is. Kind of. You I, drop a football, which mm -hmm. is what, a D20 or a D4 or something like that with the points on them, mm -hmm. it's going to act more like a football and kind of shoot off in a particular direction. I, I do think on top of that, though, with the squishiness... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As opposed to just it, like a dice, it kind of cradles and the, the impact. weight and mm -hmm. the weight, like it, it literally just stops. I wish that maybe we'll show you right here a little quick uh, scientific demonstration sure. of it. But yeah, it, it I like that a lot. So these are the <laughs> particular theme that we've been given, um, which I believe are called Scratch, and I think that they've got eggshells is another theme they've teased on their Facebook, which is still scratches, but kind of more like an alien egg. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the, at least several of the designers here have worked on Awakened Realms projects, such mm -hmm. as Nemesis and things like that, which is where I'm sure where they're getting the inspiration from. Uh, if you look at the, well, I don't know how you can look at it yet, but I believe they're going to do another six different themes or another five different themes. Okay, so if you've made it this far, I'm sure you're curious. What do we think about them? How do they roll? How durable are they? And should, should you, you buy them? <laughs> Absolutely. So durability wise, we've tested that very thoroughly. And I also think that these are probably prototype dice. I don't know how much they're going to change they by the time it. they send. No, they are very well produced. Yeah. But I mean, we can toss these on the tile floor and have had zero issues with them whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I have next to zero concerns about the durability of them personally, yeah. obviously. A year from now, which you I don't shouldn't. Know, you know, honestly, but... like when you buy dice, you're not thinking, "When's this gonna break?" So, like, yeah. I'm glad that. Did Funnily that. enough, my favorite dice set broke like two weeks ago. <laughs> what? What'd you do? I, it just broke. It's over on my desk. I'll show it to you later. <laughs> I don't know. It just broke. But <laughs> you break dice? then I got these. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, that's yeah, that's, that's fair. true. Um, how do they roll? That's one of the most important things when it comes to dice. Everybody loves the feel of dice and how they come out of the hand, mm -hmm. how they go on the table. What do you think about that? Uh, I. I love the feeling of them. Uh, the honestly, the little like shake of the yeah. metal ball inside of it is really, really neat. Uh, I, you know, like there's something about a D twenty that feels great, but like yeah, this mm -hmm. this is this is nice too. I I think that for me personally, it won't be something I want to always use. Yeah, uh, but it'll be cool to break out. I, I think I think especially as a collector piece. Yep. Uh, it, it would be just great to have, yeah. in my opinion. I really like these two. They fall in a weight that is heavier than a standard D20, but oh, definitely lighter than a metal D20 or anything like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which I like. I like my dice to be a little heavier, but metal D20 don't always work on certain textures and mm -hmm. stuff. Like uh, It just doesn't, doesn't um, work very well. Honestly, if you wanted to test the weight, hold a D20 and a ball bearing, and that's probably, that's probably the it. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably it. I think they work really well. I... 100% agree with you. If you are someone who is looking for one set of dice to rule them all, does this do the trick? I don't think this yeah. is the dice that you have to have if you mm -hmm. want a particular single set of dice. Mm -hmm. If, however, you're someone that loves unique dice or, like me, has a dice bag with about 15 different sets of dice, I really, truly do think that these deserve a spot in your dice collection. Sure, yeah. They're incredibly unique. They're mm -hmm. gorgeous. They're thematic. These are... are the boxes even really the need box to be able to carry too, around. Yeah. They are really and truly one of a kind that I've never seen before. Maybe there's something like this out there. Let us know down in the comments if there is. But for me personally, this is the first of its kind that I've seen. And I'm extremely happy to have it. And if I didn't already have this copy, I would certainly be looking I at might. the Pledge I, Manager. I'm honestly, like, I'll be watching the updates on what types of dice come yeah, out. Yeah, I want to see the different themes and the different colors. That's probably the biggest thing for me, too. These mm -hmm. are great, but I just want to see what else they plan yeah. on doing. Honestly, this one, if you're interested in this type at all, and you'll see in videos and pictures and stuff, but I honestly think that this reminds me of Gears of War. Like, I don't know if you're... I can see it. Yeah. Ultimately, are they for the budget new gamer? No. Are collector. they for the collector high class? You want the cool conversation pieces? <laughs> I can't think of a dice better than this yeah. that serves that purpose. Unless they're made of gold. But that's I don't have anyone who's made of gold. <laughs> yeah.
if you have any dice made of gold and you'd like to uh, preview them. I'll send you my address. <laughs> <laughs> and then you may never hear from me again. <laughs> Anyways, check out the link in the description below to go to their Kickstarter page. See if these dice are right for you. And of course, mm -hmm. if you end up back in comment, let them know the table not sent you. We'd love to see our names pop up there a few times. <laughs> yeah. I think you might see one from us backing it ourselves. These are certainly unique and interesting. Don't give it away. Look, I'm Jeez. putting your money in the... Yeah, your, okay. I'm putting your money where my mouth is. <laughs> Ew. Thanks for watching. <laughs>